So we're here at Sony and check this out. This is Sony OLED. So who are you? So my name is Viet um, and uh, what we have here is the A1E. This is our OLED display panel. It's being, it has over 8 million self-illuminating pixels and it's being controlled by our X1 Extreme processor. Now what's important to understand about the picture quality that you're seeing on this display here is not due just to the panel itself. It's actually because of Sony's exceptional video processor. The it's X1 a, Extreme. Exactly. Is it the same that's another H, uh, 4K TVs? Or yes. Is it a new one? It is similar. It's the same processor that's built into our Z9 D. This, these are the only two models that has these, this processor. Built so inside. basically, Sony is it? Is Sony the best at this kind of processor in the whole market? There is no processor on the market like this. We are the only company that has a processor that is that's even capable of this type of processor. So is, is Samsung and LG a little bit sad? Or well, they, I, I can't comment on what they have, but I can tell you that we have the absolute best processor out there. So I'm gonna just try to go a little bit close. So. Uh, OLED, that means uh, this is a whole new factory. You can't make OLED in the LCD factory. Yeah, so this is a whole new factory. Um, now, we don't disclose where the panels come from, but what I can tell you is the A1E is being powered and controlled by our X1 Extreme processor. So, with that being said, the X1 Extreme has 40% more real time processing than the current X1s that you see out in the market today. Now, how this benefits you is when you're watching a movie, um, it doesn't matter where the source is coming from, it could be streamed, it could be uh, from your broadcasting station, or it could be from... It could be your broadcasting or it could be from your physical media. And it will take that SDR signal and upscale to near 4K HDR-like qualities without any issues at all. And this is all the real-time. X1 Extreme. That's an ARM processor, I guess. <laughs> has to be an ARM processor. This is Sony's processor. So we, yeah. built, we actually built this processor from the ground up. Is it made partnership with MediaTek? <laughs> you cannot say. No, I cannot disclose that type of information. So it is 40% uh, faster than the first X1. Correct. So X1 Extreme. Yes. And uh, here we have the 77 inch OLED Ultra Thin. Ultra Thin screen. That's crazy. Yeah. Now, along with the great picture, what else do you need? You want to make sure that you have great audio, right? Yeah. So if you notice, this year we actually came out with a speakerless design. And the reason why we did that is we introduced a new technology called acoustic surface. And what acoustic surface does it actually vibrates its little 77 inch glass display, turning the whole screen itself into the speaker. So you know how like when you're watching a conventional TV and there's speakers on the side or in the back? Usually when that, when that happens, the actor sounds like he's talking away from you, right? Now with acoustic surface, let's say you're watching a movie and there's a person standing right here and one standing right there. You can actually tell that the voices are coming out over this way or coming out from this side. So it's a really cool technology that we have this year. And to round off uh, everything, if you look at the back panel right there, that actually serves multiple functions. Now, not only is it a stand, but when you pull off the grill, it'll actually expose the built-in subwoofer. Now, um, with that being said, you'll also see uh, the VESA mount holes where you can actually put your bracket, so you can actually wall mount this on the, uh, on the wall. How's the sound quality compared to normal speakers? Oh, the sound quality is, in, is just awesome. I mean, it sounds great. Um, it really, I mean, you're talking about a 77 inch display that really- That it becomes a speaker. The speaker itself. So it's but it sounds to... crazy, but uh, is there any way to know that it's not a downgrade compared to traditional speaker technology? Well, well this right here, we have you know um, done a lot of research, and with acoustic surface technology, this is the first time this has ever been used in this type of application. It is patent-pending technology, so you're going to see this in all of our OLEDs. Okay, so is it affordable? Um, we don't we don't have a price point on this yet. As we get closer to release date, I'm sure we'll have more information available for you. Uh, so any number that I throw out right now wouldn't be exactly accurate. It's not a printed OLED display, no. Excuse me. It's not printed. It's not low cost. There's uh, no way to well, do this. Well, it, I can tell you, it will be very competitively priced. So competitive with LG, I guess. With because that's quite expensive, and this is a huge one, 77 inch OLED. And depending on you know your region, you may get other sizes also. It would be fantastic if there was some way that Sony would figure out a way to make this and sell it for like thousand dollars. And uh, 
the whole world would buy it. Exactly. I mean, as we get more and more into developing this technology and things like that, I'm sure costs will eventually go down as, you know, most electronics. Um, but as of right now, we don't have, you know, a price point on this yet. As we get closer to that date, we will, you know, we just want that information. 77 is huge, but 65 is pretty good. Yes. And then we have 65 right here. Uh, 65. Okay, let's say 1,000 for 65 and then 2,000 for 77. But I'm just probably going to be a bunch more. It looks crazy. Oh, no, no.